What is up, everybody? We are back with another Clash Bash. I'm Mo Bogsley, joined with the wonderful Elaine and Gherkin. How's it going over there, Elaine? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. You had to point out the pickle on my head. I, I did have to point out the pickle. I was, I was, I was not going to mention it or show it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm good. I'm excited to watch some more Clash. We've done we've done this a few times by now, and it's been really fun every time. So I'm looking forward to it. And I'm ready to jump in. Yeah, let's jump on over. All right, we are watching OGKO versus Yoji. This is really interesting. I've never actually seen Yoji in action. Um, have you? Do you have any initial thoughts on this? Uh, my initial thought is that Yoji should have no text box in this match, but he does have 22 life. And that seems to be irrelevant in these super fast clash games. Uh, Yoji's starting off fast, by the way. It feels like we're on 2x speed. He played a sigil, got a might and vigor token from Pint of Strong, and he's swinging the grindstone. All that happened in two seconds. So I hope you guys were watching. Well, if they weren't, you just did a really great job of catching us all up. Well, looks like a clash has happened. Revealing a breaking blow and a yellow. I missed what the reveal was. Yeah, it was right there. Um, it looks like it was a tie because the Miller's grindstone does not have a minus one counter on it. I'm assuming this Yoji deck's just gonna play kind of like classic Guardian. Open it up with a Oh he red they missed. Thing. They discarded test of strength. I Meaning it doesn't have dominate. And it's KO. They rolled a two, so the power is only three. That is a problem with OG KO. I honestly, I love watching OG KO in action. I think that the dice mechanics are just kind of really chaotic and really fun. But th this does happen. We're just going to follow it up with the Mandible Claw for three. It looks like Yoji taking the three back down to 22 from 25. Keeping a kind of red heavy hand here. Yeah, I'm interested to see. It looks like he's debating cropping, uh, popping the hardened cross straps to play that thunk for eight. Uh, they did have the vigor, so they don't need to oh, the break the cross strap. Uh, they're just going to send nine. Playing the test of strength, which is an interesting one, because normally guardians, they, they like to flip the top card of their deck, but so do brutes. Yeah. And they both yeah, whiff. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is a game already. Oops. Ready to roll. Yeah. The KO specialization. So if KO would roll dice this turn, instead they roll that many dice plus one and then ignore the lowest rolled amount. Uh, normally you're trying to set up two of these in the same turn and do like a crazy pitch stack. Pulping, pulping turn. However, this might just be good enough for 12 damage. It is 12 damage. <laughs> it rolled a six, too. This game is... This is a... Staunch response plus an oasis. And you got... You know, you have the blue in hand. You could do... You could play this, but... It kind of just, where does it lead you on your turn? Yeah, it looks like Yoji is comfortable with giving up a lot of tempo, maybe just popping that helmet for plus one intellect, maybe popping that uh, hardened cross strap to just play the crush the week out of Arsenal. They have yeah. lots of options here. Both are good options. Plus one intelligence, really good for Guardians. Throwing big number is also just good for Guardians. like they're gonna pop and play the crush the week which is a i mean pretty good option I mean, one one card hand coming in for seven or yeah one card seven the text box unfortunately does not matter much it is just seven power 
Uh, and KO says, yeah, seven damage is cute. I'll take it. I'll go down to 11. I'm ready to roll. I have my knuckleheads up. My Goliath's gauntlet's up. Let's battle. Savage Feast is right. the play. Breaking the beaten trackers. Rolling a three, unfortunately. So it is only three damage, which is the downside of KO. Rolling a three. I, I wonder. I think it's interesting to see a KO list that's not playing. OG KO list that's not running um, Gambler's Gloves. But I'm... Um, Curious to see when they're going to pop the Goliath Gauntlet and come out with a really powerful attack. Yeah, unfortunately, Goliath Gauntlet is a Majestic, so you cannot play it in Clash, which does hurt. Is that not Goliath Gauntlet right there? Oh, no, oh, Gambler's Gloves, my bad. Oh, Oh, Gambler's Gloves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gambler's Gloves is a Majestic, and Clash is only kind of a Majestic. You're right, yes. you're right. Right, right. We both had a brain fart there. Yeah, that was on both of us. <laughs> uh, Ball Breaker coming in for four. Uh, KO went very wide this turn, even rolling that three. He did leak some damage. Basically, time walked this Yoji, making him only swing the hammer. The hammer is for four, and it might destroy the top card of KO's deck, which is very relevant in these grindier games. Yeah, I mean, he got to go pretty wide, strip um, strip Yoji's hand, and still put a card in Arsenal. So I'm still going to have a big, big turn coming back. Yeah, KO taking the four damage down to seven. The Clash has been triggered. Agile wind up discarded, rolling a one. Gotta keep those rolls coming. <laughs> Roll a one. Make an agility token, though. And they tied on the clash once again. Another savage feast. Hopefully this one rolls a six. It's a one. Oh, it's Another a one. one. It's a one. Oh, the rolls, the rolls today are just not what you what you would want them to be as a OTKO player. Yeah, KO needs to take these dice, throw them away, go to his nearest game store and buy some new ones. These are not lucky dice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think he has that option playing on Talishar. He should message the devs and ask for better dice. <laughs> better dice, please. Can you program these dice to roll sixes? And only sixes. <laughs> KO ball breaking again. Ball breaker is such a good weapon. If you've discarded a card this turn, it gets plus one. So it almost always has that breakthrough in KO. And just that four damage breakpoint is really relevant. Yeah. Um look, I'm assuming we'll just see pop the looks like he's just gonna arsenal. Yeah, arsenaling the oasis, hoping for another staunch response to play with it. I believe that is the only card that Yoji can play, unless he's playing unmovables, in which case that also pairs very well with the Oasis or Spites. Yeah. Money where your mouth is. KO is a gambling man, as we know. Goliath Gauntlet, the card Ooh, you pointed out earlier, it's getting popped. Yeah. We're rolling a five. Oh, five. There we go. There we go. Wind wow. Voltage as well. And that is lethal. And this has go again. And still a card in arsenal and a card in hand. The Yoji player saying, you know what? Have my whole hand. Still leaking three damage, though. Still leaking three damage. And that Oasis respite is not getting out of arsenal this turn. There's one more armor block left on Gauntlet of Might and Stand Ground... Blocks for nothing right now, I believe. Yeah. Barkbone rolling a six. A six. Here comes the big numbers. This is it. This is, yeah, these are the dice that, where have these dice rolls been? Yoji could just be dead here if the last attack gets doubled. Okay, if this pack hunt gets doubled, it does okay, not. Pack. Oh. Well, Commit trigger not mattering, but going to seven is very relevant. Seven all. KO just took this game from rolling a bunch of low numbers and a cash in. This KO deck is wild. 
<laughs> it's just kind of crazy. Oh my gosh. Uh, but we did see that the Yoji player did did draw a staunch response and has another blue, so can block for a good bit. Rolled a four. This pack ball's only coming in for three. Ooh, a pommel? A pommel! A pommel! A this blue will demand pommel? a staunch response or the Oasis on its attack did not discard a card. Which one is it, though? Which one's the better value here? Which one? Yeah. That's your response blocks mm -hmm. for it, doesn't gain your life. Uh, Oasis blocks for it, doesn't gain your life. So they basically both do the same thing, but you can pump staunch bigger. Oasis being played, no damage being dealt currently. Only one card left in the KO's hand, so they did kind of go all in on this play. You might see a ball breaker as the follow up. What a oh. spicy KO deck. This is the reason to play Clash. You can play amazing, sick combos. Both of these decks are just insane. Both doing very cool things. A Wage Gold? I And the KO player pitched a Cash In there, too. So, like, the, the, their deck is, is made to play Cash In Pop Gold off Wage Gold, which is just really, that's really fun. That's a six, by the way. Wild ride for 12. Yeah. I don't know who's fatiguing who at this point. <laughs> like this grindstone's very strong, but claw ball breaker also very strong. Yeah, we. It was grindstone for five. Knucklehead getting in there with one last point of block. No cards have been destroyed with the grindstone as of yet. Very unlucky for the Yoji. Just got their first minus one counter. I believe we're in the pitch stack now. That pummel is a pummel we saw Yoji pitch, I think, on turn one or two. Um, so both players should have perfect information this point forward. Did have um, agility. They might token on the KO side, pop this turn. So let's see. Let's see what we can do. A pulping. What's Two the role? reds being pitched, unfortunately, for the KO. Uh, but this does two. have dominate, so it does have guaranteed go again. If this last card is a blue, they could still spring their ball breaker and maybe get another card. It is not, unfortunately. So Pack Hunt and Money Your Mouth is going to the bottom of the pitch stack. We will see those in two turns. It's stacked in your favor. A great ore that makes your cards block for one more. Maybe just... Hmm. I think Yoji just wants to try to block this KO out. Try to get to the, the end game. He doesn't need big numbers anymore. Because three damage is lethal. That's still a card. Yep, you're right. Three damage is lethal at this point. And there's no more equipment block left on the KO side. So it's it's going to be demanding a card every single time. What? Oh, Barrage and Beatdown being blocked with. I think we're one six away from KO really taking dominance in this game. Oh, now with the fate for scene and sigil. Sigil. Though. Yeah, the sigil. That this could be, you know, game changer sigil. Wreck havoc. Pets reactions cannot be played on the chain link. It is only for three though. It was a three rolled. A fate for scene cannot be used. It has to give him an actual real card here. Or just take the three damage. Well, looks like he's just going to take the three damage. Good on five. He did play the sigil, so. Playing the deliberate. Demanding two cards out of the KO's hand. 
I did not expect this game to go this fatigue this quickly. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. I was expecting. I I was not expecting this to be a fatigue match, but this has actually been. This is really fun to watch. I like. I want to like try this KO deck with these wage golds and cash ins. This is a. It just looks fun to play. You get a full. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe it's not like a three card KO block here. Drew a lot of two blocks, and is debating how to best block this. This would put KO to one. That would put KO to three still. But I think knowing the Mache Grandes are in the deck still, you don't want to go too low and just get dominated out of the game. Unfortunately, right, because you've got a red Macho Grande here. So you would think, yeah. yeah. Unless that's a defense reaction in Arsenal, that will be game. Wow, Yoji takes yeah. that down. Yeah, wow. Yoji, the underdog hero. Never even seen a Yoji deck um, actually in action before. And look at that. Yoji just won. That was a fun game, though. That was really fun. That, that, was that insane. Quite the, the low rolls for a lot of that game was still fighting to get back in there and doing it efficiently. And like I said, that KO deck just looked kind of fun. But also, our Yoji player... Got that pitch deck, got that Macho Grande out, just kind of peaked until he got there. That was... Yeah. That was a sick game. That was, like I said, that was one six rolled away from a KO victory, I think. I'll KO needed yeah, was like an extra yeah. five or six damage, and one five or six just KO wins. So that's... Yeah, no, to the nail. Sides. Where can we find you, Elaine? If they want more of you, where can we go <laughs> to see more of you? Um, I'm on Twitter. I'm under E Ham on Tree. Ham on Tree. It's just it's as simple as it sounds. And I yeah, I do a podcast with Melody Likes called Pitch Perfect. And also with Melody Likes and Kiki, I run a league called the Rainbow Pitch League. And all of that information is on my Twitter bio. How about yourself? Where can where can the people find you? If for some reason they want to find me, they can find me on Twitter at Mobogsley, on YouTube, at Mobogsley, and just on everyone else's channel. If you ever need someone on your channel, hit me up and I'll be there. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching another episode of Clash Bash. It's always a pleasure, and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>